What up, YouTube? Bro, I'm back for another video on this beautiful day, y'all. And it's a little chilly. It's officially hoodie weather. And what comes along with hoodie weather? Brassicas! Garden Tour. We're going to store in the 50 gallon grow bag. Good lord, that's a big old bag. Little broccoli action going on. Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. They ate on it, but it's still broccoli. And some more broccoli coming up, y'all. This ain't officially uh, brasca, but those sweet potatoes gonna be ooh, 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 ooh. Big bag, big bag, big harvest. And whatever this is, this is truly, truly beautiful. I got great germination on whatever I planted here. I don't know. It could be anything, y'all. But it look good. More great germination. And they're going to tell them what they all laid on. We ain't tripping on it. Got that good cabbage coming in. That good cabbage. And we planted this together, y'all. Some more cabbage. Roll it, pull it. Chill out, big guy. Chill out. Some more cabbage. Um, I got it going all through this bed. I want a bunch of cabbage to freeze. So I went hard in the paint on it. And these are your collard greens. Collard green, collard green, collard green, collard green. Oh, that's coming in spectacular. Spectacular. And this eggplant. It look healthy. But I don't know if I'm going to get some eggplants off it. We'll see. And I tried to get in a quick harvest of Alaska sweet peas. My favorite sweet peas. So hopefully I can get a good one going. Then we come into the karabi bed. It's a lot of... Look at that. She's gonna be a big one. Yeah, she is gonna be a big one. Got Karabi going ham over there. Karabi going ham over there. And we still got some peppers out here. They took forever to get going. But these banana peppers are looking good. I got a bow. Oh, I got a big bell down here. Big bell, big bell. I think these are banana peppers too. And I went, I ain't gonna say overboard, but I planted a lot of Alaska sweet peas. I ain't gonna go bad. More sweet peas and more cabbage coming in. And these are karabi back here. And this is a cabbage from the summer. I'm gonna pull it. I think as big as it gonna get. It ain't gonna get no bigger. And we got cabbage all the way around here, y'all. It's gonna be a good fall, y'all. All right. And this is my lettuce. Yeah, it's a, a lettuce mix. If you see it's some of this lettuce, then some of this red. I think that's red romaine. I think that's regular romaine. Don't quote me on that. I'm probably wrong. But got a lot of good lettuce coming. I'm, I'm probably... Two weeks from a good harvest off this. My in-ground bed. I love this bed, y'all. This bed is so fertile, man. Got my lima beans going. Good nitrogen. And if you don't love lima beans, ooh, lima beans and rice. Come on, y'all. Then I got my broccoli going here. I'm going to get some big broccoli heads, y'all. This is the last thing I got to do. I'm dead serious, y'all. And then we got turnip greens all over here. All this is turnip. So on heaven. And I got cucumbers growing up for some weird reason. I'm just gonna let them die the first frost. I ain't gonna even mess with them. And that's some old lima beans over there. But here we got a whole bunch of collard greens. Oh yeah. 
and bok choy. God, they just stuff look good. This is ready to be eaten on, y'all. It is so pretty. Bok choy, bok choy, bok choy. You are the one. And then I got my, my curly kale. Of course, I'm going to have to thin that out. Or I'll let the strongest one survive. And this is another curly kale plant that I've had in the ground since summer. Look how old she is. But she's still putting off leaves. Everything still look good. So you in the game. Don't worry about it. And these are uh, seven top turnips and some collards mixed in. They are growing fast. Trying to get this going before Thanksgiving. I'm gonna have my own greens. I'm not buying no goddamn green from Krogan. I got them out here in the backyard. I got my Swiss chard going. And y'all know me, I try to get as many beans as I can. So if I got a little cool spell, I ain't too hot, I'm getting some beans in there. More Swiss chard. Oh, I'm going heavy this year. Don't worry about it. And that is the famous greasy leaf collard greens, y'all. Yeah. I got them planted other places, but I want to have one just so I can really experiment about growing it. Can I grow it in a container? Does it have to be in the ground? How does it grow? So I want to plant it in different places. I got it in the container, I got it in the ground, and I got it in the raised beds. So we're gonna see what's the best way for me to grow it. Some old bok choy. This one ain't quite as big. I planted a little bit after the other ones, but I'm not gonna cut and come again on bok choy. I'm just gonna pull the whole thing. So I wanted a bunch of it. And grind chair, what? You can't stop grind chair. You can only hold the container. Purple lady bok choy. This stuff is out the gate. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's basil. I don't know how basil got over here. But we'll see what it is. But yeah, I got it all. And I'm growing it in this uh, cement mixer. I don't think the roots are that, that long. So I'm going to see what it do. This is my other in ground bed and I don't know Nebraska just grow really good over here for whatever reason however I'm doing so and this is just full of broccoli 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 coming up broccoli and these little worms I had to break down and spray yesterday I used some uh Dr. Earth organic uh spray Yeah, he don't want to be on camera. But, yeah, they just decimated these leaves, man. So, I'm about to do another round of spraying. What do we do? Yeah, got them here, too. They, they taking over, y'all. All right, this the other side of that bed. And this is a huge broccoli. I don't know why it grew so good. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's doing well. And I got a volunteer tomato plant. Look at these little worms, y'all. Yeah, we gonna get rid of them. We ain't gonna worry about it. some more broccoli over there, y'all. And these, I got these peppers in the strawberry bed. Don't ask me why. I just have nowhere else to put it. But they are just taking off. I'm starting to believe these peppers like a little cool weather. I'm just saying. All right, on these sweet potatoes, I'm really starting to second have second thoughts on what I want to do with these. Um, I used to stick to the 120-day rule and pull them up, but I kind of just feel like they're just ready. They're starting to die over. Starting to yellow one. I think I'm gonna pull these sweet potatoes, y'all. I think I'm gonna pull these sweet 
think I'm gonna pull the sweet potato. Let's harvest these sweet potatoes. Now this is the one that came up with the plant, y'all. That's a good sign. I wanna make sure I'm in camera. That's a good sign. Good sign. And I'm just gonna put these all over my fruit trees. Good chop and drop. Chop and drop. That's super light. I just want to make sure I get all this footage. Not bad. One at the very bottom. The curly Q sweet potato. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Not a bad harvest for this looking thing. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, she a big one. That little one, it's gonna get eight too. I don't even worry about it. Some of these, yeah, that's too small to fool with. That's a big one. That one started splitting. We're gonna cure that so can they heal itself. Little bit of one. A little bit of one. Oh, man. It is a big sweet potato harvest, y'all. Look at that. This is what real food look like, y'all. That's real food. It was having a baby. Caught it on the way into delivery. And, uh... To be honest, I don't even think I fertilize these. Just being real. I think that's all of them, y'all. Nope, I lied. I lied. More sweet potato. I'm happy with this harvest, y'all. I didn't expect much. I still got a 50-gallon uh, grow bag growing sweet potatoes. I did want to pull one just to see where we was at. Let me just make sure. That's all of them. All right. I'm going to come back and show you what we end up getting. All right, y'all. That is the harvest. That is not a bad harvest, y'all. I'm kind of impressed with it. I didn't do much to it, much fertilizer or anything. I got some nice sweet potatoes out of here. Some really nice sweet potato. That is not bad. A few times I am, am I impressed, but I am, I think I'm more impressed because I didn't expect anything. But that worked right on that, y'all.